right, our first step is we're going to peel these apples. I have about um, five or six Granny Smith apples. You can use any kind that you want, just as long as it's tart. So just, yeah, peel all the apples and I'm just acting good. I don't know what I was talking about in this clip. I was just blabbering like always. Alright, now we're going to um, core the apples. And I used an apple core that I got from um, Walmart for like $3. It really makes it very easy. You just slice them up like that. And they're ready to go. I love this little thing. I kind of struggle using it though. And there are the apples. They are ready to go our delicious apple crisp. All right, now we're going to add in um, a mixture of sugars and cinnamon. Just sprinkle that in there and stir it up. Get it nice and combined. I like saying nice and combined. I notice I say that in like all my videos. All right, now just pour it into a casserole dish. And in a separate bowl, we're just going to add, um, we're going to make our topping. So we're going to put in the flour and some brown sugar and some white sugar and some uh, oatmeal and you can get this recipe on my blog so yeah put that, um, <clears throat> put that oatmeal in there there's some sugar going in and now just take a whisk or a spoon and just stir it up until it's um, fine and now I'm just taking a stick of butter and uh, it's softened butter just cut that up put it in there Make sure it's nice and soft though. And then just take a fork or a pastry cutter and just um, <coughs> mix it up until it's nice and combined and crumbly like. And then pour some butter, melted butter, on top of the apple. And then just um, spoon it on the topping. Then we're gonna put it into the oven. We're gonna bake it at 375 for about 31 minutes. That is it. Very easy. Thanks for watching. Excellent.